that with the right clothing, you're allowed to kill other people. With the wrong clothing, you go to jail. If you're not wearing the right clothes, then you go to jail. If you wear the right clothes, then killing is okay. It's good. We're going to applaud you. You ever thought about that? If you're wearing army clothes and your country is in war with the next, next door neighbor and you're wearing your army clothing and you're allowed to kill other people. And actually, the more you kill, the more is you're going to be encouraged. You're going to get trophies. You're going to be applauded. You're going to come back home, be a hero. You get the girl. You get the car because you killed thousands of enemy soldiers. You were wearing army clothes. And now it's okay. But if you're wearing civilian clothes and kill somebody, you go to jail for the rest of your life. So is killing okay or not? Is killing other human beings defending your country is okay or not? You were saying killing is a bad thing. Killing is evil. Then how come all of a sudden it's okay when you're defending your home, you're defending your family against the enemy, all of a sudden killing is okay. So which one is it? Is it okay or it's evil? I don't, I don't understand. Is it white or black? Which one is okay? It depends what con context it goes to. If you're a policeman and you're chasing somebody who is a danger to the society or that person just killed another person and you shoot them and kill them, then you did the right thing. I'm not talking about George Floyd situation that he was killed unjust but I'm talking about a regular policeman is defending the society and kills a criminal, kills a gangster. He's wearing the police uniform and he kills someone and no one's going to question it. So then it's okay. Do you understand this? Are you with me? Does this making any sense to you? I'm using this example for you to understand that how conditioned your mind is. It's conditioned. You have to recognize you're dealing with a mind which is twisted, which is brainwashed, which is conditioned. The number one thing is you have to recognize that you can't get to freedom through this one because this one is prejudice. It's got its ways and it thinks things should be this way. So this one is not going to lead you to freedom. You have to go beyond this. You have to rise above what you think is right or wrong, what you've been told, and look inside. Inside, you will find what is right and what is wrong. Inside. Be a lion. Be a lioness. Where the lion goes, he cuts his own path. Lion doesn't follow anybody's trail. Lion goes where he she wants to go so a part of this journey is for us to dive inwards and tune into our own self the inner guru you want to call it the higher self your fifth dimensional self the angels within the angels above it's your own divine self which is speaking to you all the time and is guiding you. We tune into that one.
and that one tells you what's right and what's wrong. You did certain things 10 years ago which were right, but today you don't do them anymore because they're not right for you. It changed. You can't go based on certain rules that you've been told this is right or wrong. It all changes as your consciousness expands and you adjust because you're con continuously evolving, you're expanding and you stay open to that. Don't get caught into things should be one way. There is no one way. There is no this way. It's infinite. I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. It's definitely a pleasure. It's my, I'm honored to be at your service. Thank you for your love. I really appreciate the love you, you send us, you give us. Thank you very much for your generous donations. We're really appreciating that. Thank you. It's very, very helpful. We're a small um, enterprise and uh, we're continuously expanding and producing videos, podcasts, free meditations, and we appreciate your help. Tomorrow we're going to get together. This is our, tomorrow is going to be our own, our last session, uh, same time at 9.30 Los Angeles time, 12.30 East Coast and uh, 6.30 in Europe. Followed after our last session on the 23rd, right? 24th, we have the shamanic 23rd and then our shamanic, our shamanic healing. We're having a, well, hold on a second. We need to check some dates. Are you sure? So the workshop is on 25th and 26th. Are you sure with those dates? Okay. So we're going to have a shamanic healing circle and that's going to be on the 23rd of June. And two days after that, I'm having a two day, uh, July, uh, 23rd of July. And then two days after that, I have the Ascension to Fifth Dimension workshop. It's a two day workshop. It's four hours each day. And in that workshop, um, I'm going to give you tools and also specific meditation exercises. There will be some active meditations that it's to activating the grid within yourself. It's to awaken the snake, awakening the giant within yourself, which is sleepy. So we will be doing a series of different active meditations. There's teachings and we, uh, I answer your questions. In addition to that, I have designed a specific private mentorship program. It's called Life Training Program. I wasn't able to offer this program in the past because I used to travel to Europe three times a year touring around Europe and I didn't have time to be involved in a private mentorship program with anybody. Now I'm able to do it because obviously I'm not traveling, I'm not touring. So I'm able to offer this program. The program is about four months. We get together once a week for an hour and a half. And this is for anybody who's really serious in their spiritual developments and you, and you need me to help you and guide you to go and discover your blockages first. What's holding you back? Where are your conditionings? What area is it that you're blocked in? Whether you have self-love issues, you have abandonment issues, you have anxiety, depression, fear, where is the blockages? So we go into that and, and we clear those areas. 
and then I walk you through and give you the tools and help you with meditations, healing, and transmission towards recognizing yourself. It's very comprehensive, it's very powerful, and I have room for two more students because two of my students are graduating, they're finishing, and I have space for two people. So if you're interested in this private mentorship, it's a VIP program, contact me and we will set up an appointment. Uh, we go through it and I give you the details, the price, what it entails, uh, what am I gonna do for you and what I'm expecting you to do in return uh, as far as your practice. And based on your specific needs, I will design a tailor-made program for you. So feel free to contact me. Uh, my email address is info at zaratustra.tv or you can reach out to me via our Facebook pages. Zaratustra 5D are, is how you find me on Facebook, my podcast, my YouTube. But basically, if you want a direct answer from me, the best is either to contact me via email or Facebook. Thank you for your time. Sending you lots of love and light. Let's sit together for, in silence for a couple of minutes before we part ways. And I look forward to seeing you today, tomorrow. Namaste, much love.